Um, well, how did you connect with Buster Rhymes? Uh, we met Buster on a um, tour going on a bus, uh, a tour bus, not even say a tour bus, but on a trip to Morgan State College in, in Maryland. And it was like uh, the Electra Atlantic, uh, Warner Brothers is a thing they had where they would send all the artists out. So we did a radio run. We went to uh, Morgan State, did a show there. So we all on the bus. Artifacts, KMD, Hard to Obtain, TCF Crew, Jay-Z, Dame Dash, Original Flavor, um, and leaders, leaders of the new school. So we all on this bus going to do this show. Me and Tame in the back. We had a radio. Nobody else had no radio on the bus. So Busters called us from the back. Like, yo, bring that radio up here. So we brought the radio up. He took that shit out of my hand. Like, let me see that. I was like, oh. <laughs> so he's gone. He and now we had the album in there, like maybe like six songs. Only done for the album. So he rewound the tape. And he's talking like, all right. he's a young, what's your artifacts, right? We was like, yeah. He's like, I heard about y'all on Stretch and Barbito. He's like, all right, cool. So uh, he used to rewind, he rewound the tape. He listened to a couple of songs. Mind you, we're all crowded up in this certain part of the bus where we all, they, they listening to the songs. So everybody got to come on to get there. Everybody was liking that. He he rewound it like after like one verse and then played it, rewound it again, played it, got the Tames verse, rewound it again, got back to it, listened to the whole song and he stopped it and rewounded it again. And he said, yo, if y'all ever do a remix for this song, I want to be on it, like right in front of everybody. So we was like, holy shit. What, what's... So wow. Charlie Brown, Charlie Brown, Dinko, they looking at him, Jay-Z, everybody looking. And he was just like, yeah, I said it. Like, you know, and then instantly right there, freestyle session just started. I was like, oh, shit. So we do the show, and we about uh -huh. to get back on the bus. And Buster, he stayed. He was like, yo, I'm going to get your number because I'm serious. I want to be on that record. So I was like, cool. And once we got to do the remix, and I went to Buck's crib up in the Bronx. He made the beat again in my face. And I, I came to the studio, sent that shit to, it came with the CD because it wasn't those mailed MP3s. So I meet Buster in the studio, play that beat, he lost his mind. And that became, mm -hmm. that became the remix after that session. He came to the studio, it was dope doing the song with him because he kept asking me and saying, what y'all got, what y'all got? So he's like, yo, we, and then he asked me to come in the studio in the booth with him to while he do his verse. So the whole time he was doing that, was the rhymes giving bossy blows. Ha, he's he's hitting me. <laughs> I'm standing next to him. And he's just smacking me every time he do that verse. So, the, so it was like you had to be there, you know, even for us to know that that was like one of his first features after getting out of uh, Leaders of the New School. And um, even, you know, after that, he did the Flavor in Your Ear. So... We was like, we knew he was about to go off and do some big stuff. I'm just glad we got at him at the time we did to do that record.